Sailor Tortilla presents Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Hey guys, it's Sailor Tortilla and today I'm reviewing something that I got a thousand years ago but just haven't opened. This is the Sailor Moon Poochie Petite Super S Villains and Chibi Usa. Whatever. I forgot what it's called actually. Petite Car, uh, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Super S. So this is the Super S box of these Poochie Petites. It's got a little dream mirror. If you remember season four, they were hunting through everyone's dream. They were looking for Pegasus. Got a little picture up there. Japanese writing. Gold toy sticker because this is a Japanese release. I got this from Anime Osaka. And we got little wings on the top. That was super cute. We are a little washed out because there is plastic surrounding all of my figures. Uh, one thing I noticed was that I think they screwed up on the base for fisheye. It's not in its like slot. It's supposed to go down there. I guess whoever at Mega House Boxes decided that they did not give a shit. I'm gonna open it on this side because the tape looks uglier. <laughs> I don't know how you guys decide where to open your boxes, but I just pick the ugly side. It's gonna look much better when I take off all that plastic. You can see that these are very vibrant little figurines. Tape and tape and more tape. Goodbye, that, oh god, well, let's just pretend some catastrophic event happened, but look how much brighter all these figurines are after removing that plastic. Much better, way, way cuter. I think, if you've watched my videos, you know, Pucci Petite Collection is my absolute favorite, and if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook, you'll know that we are getting a Queen Barrel and her four generals villain set with a Prince Endymion, which is gonna be super nice. Let's take a look at one of the stands here. This is Helios' stand. It's Matt. Oh, it's got the twinkle bell thing on it. Nice. I wonder if the uh, villains have different designs. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's really nice that they made them different per character. I really love the details in this set. Oh yeah, just like Helios. All right, let's look at all of them individually. Hey, check out Hawkeye. He has the detail on his forehead that all three of these characters have. It's really nice. It actually like, you can feel it, it pops out of his head. It's an actual thing they added to the figure. You get an idea of the scale of these when you see my hand. His hair actually hurt me a little bit while I was trying to put this together. But you know, it's really nice that they go through all of the painstaking work that it takes to get, you know, all these little details actually molded in to the figure. You know, they're really small, but they're extremely, extremely detailed figures. I am so happy that they're making more figures in this line. Next up with the villains. Tiger's eye, so sneaky. You know, this is the playboy of the group. And his little shiny man panties. Love it. Love all these characters and their varying shades of androgyny. You can see he has that detail right under there, right underneath his little headband. These are his stripy little leggings. I love it. I have no complaints about these. Um, if I ever do, it'll be an odd day in Sailor Tortilla Land because I think Mega House always does an incredible job. Now, Fisheye. Fisheye is an exciting figure to talk about because Fisheye's hair goes from this blue to this sea green. Almost, it almost looks like spray paint. You know, they did just, just such an incredible job. You see these little little hand tucked behind his butt because he's so sassy. I love Fisheye. Fisheye is awesome. A little fish. I got the little Michelin Man bumps too. Everything's great about these. Um, view from the top you can always see a seam where the front meets the back. That's pretty pretty usual. I've never seen a Mega House figure without it. Now, Helios, the rare Helios. For the first time, we're getting a twinkle dolly of Helios this year. And the revival, 
which is now in its 25th year, the 25th Sailor Moon anniversary. We don't get a lot of Pegasus stuff and we don't get a lot of Helios stuff, so we have to be very happy when we get anything involving him. Uh, there's a miniature -like tablet coming out, that's kind of cool. There's also like a paper clip holder, you know, Super S stuff is finally coming out, which is cool. And I know there's people out there that are like, it's not Super S, it's Supers. But the problem is that when I say Supers, it sounds like Super, so I'm just going to continue saying Super S so all of y'all know that I'm talking about Season 4. Look at this little spiky, little spiky unicorn horn. He's very serene. I'm not sure if I like that they made his little bow here shiny compared to the rest being matte, but whatever, that's what they did. And then we have Princess Chibiusa, or small lady if you will. I think she's going to look so cute next to the current Princess Serenity Mega House, which is now getting another Princess Serenity in the Queen Barrel set. Look at her bow! It just trails out behind her. I think they always do an incredible job on these sculpts. They're just so small and so detailed. I hope they never stop making these. They're going to easily reach the hundreds of all the types of these and I have no problem because they're perfect. Chibiusa looks so serene and so cute and let's put her next to her boo. Hey boo. They're just so cute. They're just so perf. She's pearl eyes. I just, that shiny belt. Shiny belt's gonna mess me up. But anyway, it is what it is. Let's put them all together and check them out one last time. So again, you are gonna hear no complaints from me about any of these Mega House figures. They are too cute to handle and I guess I'm just going to be stuck in a cycle of never not buying them because they're perfect and adorable. So, I mean, even the villains are so cute. I really appreciate villain merch because we don't get it enough. Now, I'm gonna turn these around. Woo! Look at those colors, oh my god. See, even the backs are just so colorful. I really would love to get a rotating display for all of these because I think, I think even the back is cute. Even the back is super perf. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Messy house, cute figures. No, seriously, like, my living room is scary. This is the Sailor Moon Mega House Poochie Petite Super S box. You can display them in the box because they've got a window or you can take them out and admire them for all their amazing, amazing design choices. So that's it guys. That's the review and the unboxing and I love them and again A plus from me. You can check out more info on Instagram and Facebook. I am Sailor Tortilla and ooh, wait a minute. I have some couple things to open up. Alright, so sometimes I get things that I just forget to show you or open. I actually got these months and months and months ago and I forgot to open. So these are some merchandise items from Sailor Moon Crystal from a company called Remint, which specializes in making itsy bitsy tiny tiny things. In this case we have Sailor Moon desserts and Sailor Moon dessert style cell phone straps called the Sweets mascot line and the Sweets line. These are blind boxes, so I do not know what I got. Every time I look at these, I just think, oh, look at the items that I can lose. Oh, it comes with the stand. Okay, that is already more than I expected. It has plates? Oh my god, this is weird. Um, oh, I see, I got the only one that represents, I guess, the whole team. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to put this together, right? Really, really tiny. Isn't that cool? Look at that. To start with the symbols of all the senshi on this teeny tiny. Oh shit. There we go. One is on the floor. This is a little terrifying. It has a little moon on it. Hey. Okay. Nope. Oh, this is torture. 
picture. Truly one of my nightmares. Gaze upon it while I try to gingerly place the tiny, tiny bonbons in it. It's the stuff of nightmares. Seriously though, am I just gonna have to keep this by itself with some tongs? Like, really? This, this other thing had a lot more potential, but I actually destroyed the box upon opening it, which is very rare for me, but. Okay. Wow. That is a giant cupcake. Wow, and it comes with chocolate. Not real chocolate. Oh, it's Usagi. Man, I was looking at it like this going, what the fuck is that? But it's Usagi from the side. <laughs> All right. So this is the Remint Sweets mascot line. At least one of the different things you can get. Oh, okay. That is not the stuff of nightmares. Like, you see these tongs? They're over here. They're mocking me. Let's just make all the things, right? 